No. No. I'm sorry, Lauren. But that is out of the question. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. I'm sorry, Lauren, but I work alone. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? This envelope. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait, wait. Oh. You're really something special, Lauren. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? We're partners. Yay! High five! Where are we going now? It's a dirty car. Maybe you better stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. Fuck. He's just thinking, fuck. She's like, I'm a helper. I have invites, babe. The only reason he said yes to her partnership is because he wants to fuck her. What are we doing? So if you take this nice party, they're going to do some ecstasy. Bigwig Tycoon from former construction. His son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? But now I just have a few questions that need answers. Nice house. Jesus. Kramer's decor another time. Are we going to be here long? This place gives me the creeps. What the hell? Kramer, you stay here till I come back. Okay? What the fuck is okay. this? Just let me know if you hey, baby. Me. Baby. Love you. I really love you. Hey, sit down. Baby. Hey, baby. You come here often? No. She wants nothing to do with me. Great party, huh? <laughs> Whoops. I think I didn't come here to make friends. Yeah, you can't get with any of these chicks, apparently. I go here. Okay. Gotta find Gordy Kramer. Booze, babes, and coke. Gordy Kramer seems to be quite the party animal. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. Hmm. Not gonna be easy to find Gordy behind that big wall of paid gorillas. Okay. Take a look around, see if I can figure out something. Have you seen Gordy? Sorry, no. Are straight up having sex. 
Oh, that's my friend person. I don't care about her. Hey guys! Hi, I'd like to see Gordy. Gordy hasn't seen anyone. Beat it. Aggressive. Look, Cinder fella. The clock's just turned 12, and I don't want to have to turn you into a pumpkin. You're real smart, fella. Bet you won't be so funny with my foot up your ass. Hmm. Walks away I'm like to see Gordy Kramer. I'm gonna have to go about it some other way. So, did you find Gordy? He's upstairs. We got two goons blocking the way. Do you want me to handle them? No. Hey, what are you gonna do? Knock him out with a pair of high heels? Leave it to me! Just be ready to go as soon as they leave the stairs! Sounds like she's laughing at it, but it's like almost unnecessary. Wait, Lord! Or, I mean, yelling. What is she up to? Jesus Christ. Oh, she fuck. Passes the fuck out. the wrong way we got to get her out of here fuck I'm lost Okay, so this is the front doors. Come in. Uh huh. You didn't make it? No, I guess you took me a little by surprise. You're supposed to be the professional here. Even those long heads won't fall for my act again. Don't worry about it. I'll find something. Nice moves, though. The I fuck? Oh, I oh, fucked yeah, up, man. Be useful, didn't I?
those two goons and me seeing Gordy don't mix. I'm gonna have to think of another way to get rid of them. Maybe bust a few heads? Yeah, I'm tempted. But not such a good idea. Too many goon-shaped reinforcements around here. Find a way to get them away from the stairs long enough for me to be able to slip past. Maybe a little guest relations incident will bring over our goons for a bit of customer service. Finding someone who isn't smashed or doped up to the gills would be a miracle. And I need one right now. What are you doing so hey, something. Oh, nice moves, though. I'm impressed. Told you I could be useful, didn't I? Okay. Talking down about your mother. Not good. What? That's 
shit! This time he's gonna get him! You motherfucker! What? No. no! No! I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying here. I was invited to this party and you weren't. No! You just got there, funky. Fucking finally! Ha ha ha! A bit of a, a bit of a glitch. Nice. This house is way too big. sex and a grown man watching cartoons. <laughs> Mr. Kramer. Shh, this is the best part. <laughs> My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> no, don't get in the way of the TV. That's mean. Come on. I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it, beat it. You hear me? Get the Sounds hell like out he's here. bipolar. What do you want? A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw it. No, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? Okay, so you're a good Samaritan taking kids home who happen to get lost right next to your limousine. I'll be a nice guy and tell me something I can't Come on. believe. Very well. I knew 
I'm the Origami Killer. <laughs> origami Killer. I get my big. <laughs> origami Killer. I drown them. The fuck? He says it so weird. And I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on his chest. I do that. Fuck, game over now. I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. It's, it's fucking rude to Mario. It's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. I don't like having fun. I don't know if that's what you said. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more?